Is your pet a DNR or a CPR? I'm an emergency veterinarian and we have to ask this question anytime you leave your pet at our hospital. And a lot of times it can be a really overwhelming question. So let's go through the stats. Now I'm gonna talk a lot about the Recover Initiative, which is started around 2010 by a bunch of veterinary emergency and critical care specialists. And their goal is to teach everyone CPR. Including pet owners, you guys can get CPR certified as well. CPR stats between humans and animals is a little bit tricky. And that's because a lot of our stats in veterinary medicine come from tertiary hospitals where the sickest pets are. In humans, we can get about 45% of them back, whereas in animals, it's 35 to 55%, kind of depending. The big difference, though, is about discharge. About 17 to 25% of people who get CPR performed on them leave the hospital alive. Whereas cats and dogs, it's like 6 to 19%. But if a pet arrests during anesthesia, they're 14.8 times more likely to be discharged. If you come into the hospital and you arrest because you're really, really sick, that's not something people can generally fix on the fly. Whereas if you arrest under anesthesia, well, we induced anesthesia and we can reverse anesthesia. That's why it's so important to have a deep discussion with your veterinarian about what your wishes are and your pet's overall prognosis.